Okay, just looking at some eucalypt seeds here, different kinds. Um, if you're collecting your own, what you want to do is find a tree with pods on it. Get some here. These are oblique pods. Find some where the valves on top are starting to open. These are actually not quite ripe, some of these. You see this one here hasn't opened. You're going to find some where the valves are just starting to crack or you can see a, a line across them where they're just beginning to open. And if you break them off after a few days, I just put them in a paper bag like that and after a few days they'll start to open up by themselves. Just put them somewhere warm and dry and after a while the seeds will start to fall out. We can give them a whack to get the rest out. Yeah, so I just use a round paper bag. You can see in the bottom there. There's quite a few seeds in there already, if we need to focus. Yeah. So you'll find um, the different types of gum have different seeds. Got some different ones here. Here's uh, Regnans, which is an ash. You can see they're quite a Sort of angular seed, pretty uniform. Um, Melgelensis river red gum, the sort of a light brown, sort of cuboid shape. And here we've got some ovata, which is a gum. You can see there's quite obvious difference between the chaff and the seeds. The seeds are the black. This more browny, ready is the chaff. And I've got some photos here of some seed pods just as they're picked, pre drying. This is what they look like straight off the tree. Here we've got some close-up photos of various seeds. Um, you can take these, these are just taken with a cheap USB camera you can plug into your computer. Okay, so here's I'd normally sow some seed, normally just direct sow into where I want to plant it. So I normally just take a container with a standard potting mix, make a small depression in the middle and just sprinkle. You can normally see there's three or four seeds going in, doesn't matter if you put too much. And then I will normally put a bit of sand or fine seed mix or vermiculite and just cover that. Give it a mill or two over top. And then if you just missed that, and you should find in a week or two they'll start poking through. Once your seedlings start poking through you can see which one's growing the best. You can trim the uh, any others out with some scissors or nail clippers. Okay, here we've got some globulus and cladocalyx, oblica, camelgelensis, cordata, cideroxal in here. Delegatensis, one year old, and a PB5. Uh, 
what I think is botryoids, some Crimbia maculata, and Crimbia thicifolia at the back. Nitens in a pot, planted in the spring. And some regnans and PB5s planted in the spring. And some Delegatensis there from last season. 